Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Brokerpreneur Podcast. I got Matt in trouble, guys. You did, man. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, candy corn. Candy corn. <laughs> it's that time. It's that time of year. It's candy corn time. Matt's the only person on the face of the earth that likes candy corn. So they got him a huge cup of candy corn. <laughs> so if you hear me chewing through this, yeah, it's candy corn. You know, this is probably going to make my sugar levels spike. Yeah. You know, oh, for sure. We're about to get into some real stuff here, man. <laughs> 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 so, guys, welcome to Broken North Podcast. I'm Dr. Ben Spears, the ambassador of Flow, the giver of candy corn. I'm here with the big guy, as always. The working eater on of getting candy bigger. corn. <laughs> <laughs> working on getting bigger <laughs> with the candy corn. Matt Vi. Matt, how you doing, man? How's your taste buds? Mmm. <laughs> donuts <laughs> yeah, donuts <laughs> so yes. Matt, we got we've got a great podcast as usual lined up for our <clears throat> listeners why don't we why don't we talk to them a little bit you know about what we're doing you know it's a, a, a great segue into this is you know i say a lot of the same things at, at the beginning and the end of mm-hmm. the podcast right it's almost like a script i throw i i change it up a little bit you know, I throw some candy corn in here every now and then. Right. Talk about my mom. Right. Right. Even those are little scripts. Right. Those are micro micro dialogues. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And we're talking about we're talking about dialogues. Tell us a little bit about what we're going to learn about today. So, uh, I'm sorry, I have to finish chewing candy corn. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're going to let him chew his candy corn. <laughs> Um, so, uh, so I got, all right, I got okay, it. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe me talking will keep me from eating okay, 28 pounds of candy guys. corn. Right. I was messing with him and I actually affected the rest of you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to, so, uh, so my, uh, so the candy corn sugar's already hit me. Are we talking now about dialogues? Are we actually doing it? Have you already done your intro? Yeah, I've done, I've done the intro. So it's I time said, to go. I it's, said it's, your it's name. Go time. Uh, I want you to tell us what we're talking about and then I'm going to tell people how to follow us and then we're going to dive deep, right? I'm the ambassador of flow. I know exactly where this is going. You just, you just tell us, man, just calm down a little bit. Calm down. <laughs> Damn candy corn. And let us know. And let us know what you're two and a half minutes in. Let us know what we're talking about today. So, of course, why use dialogues, right? Yeah. So, uh, so dialogues are kind of scary to some people. Yeah. Right. And uh, and so you know we call them dialogues. We call them scripts. They're the same but not the same. Right. The same yep. but different. So we're going to talk about a, a little bit about why to use them and how to use them and everything and and why it would be important in a recruiting conversation to make sure that you're using a dialogue a certain way so that you end up with the result that you want instead of using a script that you don't even realize that you're using and ending up in the wrong place in the conversation. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll give an example of that when we're, when we're talking through it. Yeah. I've got, I've I've got one in in, in mind as well, but guys, wherever you listen to this, hit that follow or that subscribe button. There's absolutely no better time than the present to grab some candy corn, Mm-hmm. And go to brokerpreneurpodcast.com. Um, if you want to, if you're like, man, I don't know how to spell brokerpreneur. Well, if you're listening to this, look down at your phone or I look at your computer. It's probably it's probably on the screen. Uh, brokerpreneurpodcast.com. Um, scroll all the way to the bottom. You can sign up for our newsletter, and we will send you what used to be monthly recruiting, you know, tips, tricks, and hacks. We'll send you weekly. Uh, recruiting, recruiting news, what's going on, you know, in the real estate industry, what's going on outside of the real estate industry that maybe is pertinent to um, Mm -hmm. your office along with our latest blogs, our latest podcasts, and just, uh, you know, some, 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 some ways to even get, get get some free admission to some of our events as well. Right. So Matt. Yeah. Dialogues. That was kind of like a dialogue. Yep. Right. And then at the end I just twisted a little bit. I said, grab some candy corn. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Um, maybe that makes my dialogue from now on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but every, everybody everybody says, you know. I like the pumpkins too. Yeah, the pumpkins are like big candy corn. They're like, so I can eat a whole bag of those too. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, like four, I got to hide them for myself. Four or five candy corn. I'm like, okay, like I got my sugar. And, you know, I wish it was chocolate. Nope, not me. <laughs> not me. But uh, I could eat a five. I bet I could eat a five gallon bucket of candy corn. <laughs> In how long? One sitting. (laughs) (laughs) Over 
of my life, I could probably eat a five oh, gallon man. bucket of, of candy corn. No, but man, that's man look, you going for the Guinness World Record? I get it. You do it, bro. Right. The uh, everybody says, man, like, well, I don't like scripts, right? Like, I like being yeah. authentic, right? You hear that a lot, right? Because mm-hmm. we tell people, be authentic, be your Absolutely. true self. You yep. should be. But your true authentic self uses dialogues, scripts, whatever you want Absolutely. to call it, all day long. Every time you answer the phone, you say the same, like my, my grandfather, I call him, yellow, mm-hmm. right? That's a script. Yep. That's a dialogue. He's, you know, if, if it was like maybe something very serious or he was in a different, you know, state of mind, right? he might say, this is Ray, right? right? And if you get that, you just hang up. Because <laughs> like, something's wrong. Like, Papa. <laughs> He ain't, he ain't right. <laughs> right? He's, he's upset with something. So, um, but usually, no, you know, yellow. Yeah. You're, you're setting the tone for Absolutely. exactly how that conversation is with one single word. Did he always say yellow? Not always. When but he was, when he was six years old, did he, did he pick oh, up no. the phone? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course right. not. So it evolved, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Why did it evolve? Um, it, he got the result. He wanted that, that he wanted. That's right. Or things. that he was comfortable with. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's why we should use the scripts and dialogues a, a certain, get your hand on that candy corn. That's why we should use the, the scripts and dialogues a, a certain way is to get a certain response. We have to be intentional with it. Yeah. And that's the, that's the issue is, you, you know, uh, there, there's a ton of people that say, oh yeah, I don't use scripts and dialogues. You know, I, I just don't oh, use yeah. scripts and dialogues. That's a script. Yeah. I don't believe in them. Right. I don't believe in them. And, and like you said, I'd rather be authentic or, or whatever the deal is. Right. Yeah. And then, and then, and then they say something, I mean, they can't even finish the conversation without you, without saying something that they literally say all the time. Yeah. Right. So the truth is you get comfortable with certain scripts, with certain dialogues, with certain d- ways of being intentional with the conversation. What you're really saying when you say, I don't want to use a script or I don't want to use a dialogue is I don't want to learn something new. And it possibly not work the way that I want it to work. Yeah. And I'm afraid to give it a try. Yeah. And that's, that's what that really means. Okay. Absolutely. Just being to the, getting point. to the point of it. Right. Yeah. And, and, and when somebody says like, cause I want to bring this up cause I used to say this a lot, you know, in chiropractor or whatever. And it works, it works beautifully also with scripts and dialogues. So it's like, you know, I just don't, I don't believe in them. Mm-hmm. I'd say like, it's not like Santa Claus, man. Right. Like there's science behind <laughs> Right. There's science right. behind this. Absolutely. There's no believe or not. Like you use them. Right. And, and, and they and, work and they work and that's why you use them. Yeah. So here's the, so here's the big one. This was, the, this was the example that I was going to give. And then we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, why and how and all. Oh, yeah. uh, so I get to have a lot of conversations with a lot of people. Right. And I ask them how they explain. As a matter of fact, this is coming up in our mastermind series. Yep. I ask them how they explain they're uh, ask them how they explain their compensation plan yep. during the during the, the interview, mm-hmm. and automatically, what does almost everyone go to? Commission split. Oh yeah, like no, they just they didn't start with me because you know hundred percent down the road. Mm-hmm. So so, all the time people are thinking that the compensation plan is the commission split. Yeah, and it's not two different animals. Compensation plan is the entire compensation plan. Yep. Commission split is a part of it. Yes. Yeah. And, but, but that is what happens when you have a script of something and you're not intentional about that script. Yep. When you're, when you're meeting with people and you're, and you're on the interview with them, if you're talking about just the commission split, you know, what did, what did Chris Stewart say? If they come for the commission, stuff. they'll leave for the commission. If they, they come, come for the for stuff, the... they'll leave for the stuff. Yep. Right. So, so if, so if you want to make sure that the people that you're hiring stay when you're recruiting them, then you have to make sure it's not just about the stuff. We're actually going to talk about that in the wrap up a little bit. Okay. Uh, we're going to, we're going to dig into that in the, in the wrap up and part of the, the action item, but you have to make sure that you are, that you're intentional in the conversation. So your script has to be a very concise, easily digestible way of talking about something that okay. helps people understand what it is, the point that you truly want to get across, not just the one by default you've been using. Hey guys, this podcast is powered by Prospect Boomerang. We all know broker owners struggle with profitability. Prospect Boomerang compounds your profits by recruiting the best agents to your brokerage. For consistent growth, visit prospectboomerang.com. Yeah. Yeah. And we, and we've all, and we've all heard, right. And, 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 um, 
Grant Cardone wrote a book called Sell or Be Sold, and we've all heard the one thing, you're either selling or you're being sold to. Like, we've mm-hmm. heard that several times, right? And and I think that's where scripts and dialogues, you know, kind of get a, a, a bad rep, right? There are good mechanics out there. Right. 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 There, there are good people who sell used automobiles. Absolutely. Right? 100%. And, 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 and so you, you can't say, okay, like, because someone has used a script or a dialogue on me and it just felt a little bit sleazy or manipulative or whatever because there are people who do that. Right. Absolutely. You, you can't say, like, oh, well, all scripts are tricks. Right. 100%. And, 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 and I'd like to talk on that a little bit because I think that's something we need to debunk just yeah. a little bit before we move um, in, any deeper this is, you know, let's talk to people about how, you know, the correct way to use, because you don't want to manipulate someone into to joining your office either. Right. Right. Like that's, that's a recipe for disaster for right. a long, a long time down the road. Right. Um, but let, let, let's talk about, you know, how, how scripts and dialogues, you know, they're, they're, they don't have to be a trick. Yeah. So, so the, uh, so the reason why they end up being a trick mm-hmm. is because you bought a, a system or you bought a, you went to a coaching seminar and you went to a, whatever it was. And they're like, Hey, you want to get this result. Yeah. And those people are doing their job. You showed up at that and they're saying, you want to get this result. Here's what you need to say in order to get that result. Yeah. Not, is that who you are? Yeah. Is that what you believe? Is that really your program? When the person standing up on stage says, if you do these five things, right, there's, there's books written by, by real estate people. Do this, exactly this, and exactly this, and exactly this, and exactly this, and you're, and you're going to win, right? Yeah. And so the really cool part about that is people that, that want to do that and can follow that direction and do it exactly like that, they will win. Yeah. The shitty part is everybody else gets left by the wayside. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Which is what happens whenever people say, you know, use this script exactly like this. That's exactly what happens. Keep using the script enough. You know, you get paid just, you get paid more for the no's than you do for the yeses. Right. I think yep. we've talked about that in, in, a, in a podcast. Yep. If you guys get a chance to go back and listen to that <clears> one. But but the, the truth is, you know, if you're using the script and you just plan on blazing through all the no's because you're getting paid more for those than you are the, than you are the yeses, and you're going through all that, we become really comfortable believing that it's not about them because we're hearing so many no's. That's yeah. why it feels dirty. That's why it feels tricky. That's why it feels all of those things is because the no, we didn't deliver value to those people. Yeah. We just qualified them with that. Yeah. All we were doing was trying to sell something to them, right? We've said this a, a bunch of times. You know, you hear people say all the time, uh, uh, sales is a numbers game. Yes. Right? So it's not. It's a relationship game. Yep. Absolutely. Okay? But the number one rule is numbers. Yes. Right? Yep. Uh, so, so you can't ignore the rule. You can't ignore the numbers. It's absolutely how things have to go. That's You have to know your numbers and, and be part of it. But uh, especially with service-based sales, Without some type of established relationship and trust, they're they're not going to buy from you at that at that higher, more expensive level. They're just not going yep. to. That's where the script comes in, is you understanding what it is that you offer that is helping to clarify it quickly and easily with them, so they can make a decision. Do they know, like, and trust you enough in order to make that in order to 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 purchase that whatever it is? Yeah, purchase meaning go to work for you from a recruiting standpoint, yep. purchase the, the, the tools and systems that your company, yeah, whatever results you're looking for. Yeah. That's right. The agent is the consumer. Yes, exactly. With, with what you do as a brokerage, the agent is the consumer, not the public, right? Yep. The public consumes what the agent offers. Absolutely. Right? Okay. So that's why we use them is yep. we, we, we use them in order to be intentional in what we're doing so that we get our point across about what we're offering. Right. Yep. So, so there are things that we talk about that are very uniform. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where people get lost is they, they try to make a script. The hard things that they don't want to say, like the objections and everything, yeah. they think that that's where they have to learn the script. Yeah. Okay? And, and it helps. Handling objections, knowing what you're going to say, and, and filtering through what people mean. Don't get me wrong. That, that really helps. Yeah, it definitely doesn't hurt. Right. But that's why people don't like scripts. Yeah. That's the time that they, use, that they think that they use them the most is handling the objection. Yeah. Opening and, and the prospect to, door and handling the objection. That's yep. when you use, that's when people think you use a script. And the truth is through your whole conversation, if you're being intentional about the dialogue and you're scripting certain pieces of it, the objections get handled along the way. 
Yep. Right. We had we had somebody that we that uh, one of our coaching clients today had a had an appointment, got it set up yesterday, uh, had the appointment today. We talked after the uh, talked after the uh, the appointment. She was super excited because the, the conversation just felt really comfortable with her, okay, yeah. which we're going to talk about in just a, in just a <laughs> second. Why she felt so confident in the conversation. But but in order to in order to get past that, in order to get because this is what you, this is where we started with this just a second ago. In order to get past that, you have to. Oh, uh, you have to make yourself feel comfortable with why you're using the script. Yeah. It can't just be to trick someone. Yep. It can't just be to handle objections. It has to be to direct the conversation down a path so that they have enough information so that they can make an informed decision when it comes time for them to decide whether to join your company or not. If that's what you're focused on. If you're completely okay with, hey, I put my best foot forward, I said this the right way, I said it in a way that truly got my point across, if that person doesn't want to join me, screw them. They're not going to be a fit anyway. Yeah, yeah, and two, two, th- two things about that, right? One is, you know, a great example of this, because again, you know, I bring things back to golf. 2008, when Tiger Woods, you know, made that last, you know, 15-foot putt on, on 18 to go into a playoff the next day with uh, Rocco, he could see, right, like, you know, 150 golfers over four days had walked on that green um, around that whole grass. Sticks of grass were just up everywhere. He said, I know this is going to be bumpy. Mm-hmm. He said, I know I'm not really going to be able to control where this is going. But what I can control is the stroke that I put on the ball when it leaves the putter face. Everything else, if I make a good stroke, I, could, I, I couldn't control that. But I know that I, that I put a good stroke on it no matter what, what happened. Right. The script is very much like that. I know yep. what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if what I'm saying doesn't resonate with with yep. with the with the agent, then then that's okay. Like we prob- probably just you know weren't weren't a good weren't a good fit at, at, at that point. Uh, but I also look at scripts as let, let me say something before we go on from that. Sure, okay. sure as long as you guys, if if you need to go back and re listen to what Ben just said, go back and re listen to it. As long as you do that, you're never going to feel like your script or your dialogue is a trick. As yeah. long as you do that, you're never going to feel that way. Yep, that's exactly right. Because it's, it's not. Yeah, yeah. You, you're just you're just being. Pre- it's the difference between being prepared, and that's my next point. Is, um, you know, as as a practicing chiropractor, you know, uh, the ninety nine percent of my patients were coming to me for maintenance or preventative care, and so when you talk about you know handling objections, you know, people don't like to get to the point where you know they've had you know a, an average or mediocre conversation, then all of a sudden an objection an objection comes up, and they're saying, oh, "What was that one thing that I re- learned in that book or I listened to on that YouTube video uh, that I never practiced?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> that kind of thing. Well, that's that's waiting until you get sick. Yep. To go to go get a checkup. Right. Or to go to the doctor. Whereas. If you're practicing these things and you know how to have the conversations, uh, you know, leads, cost, revenue, expenses, training, and, and culture, if you know how to have conversations that guide people through the interview, answering what, you know, maybe are objections that you just get most often, right. um, then that's, that's, that's preventative care absolutely um, as far as as far as the interview goes and that's and i think that's that's just another great way to look at it is you're not trying to trick some you're not trying to trick someone you're not right. trying to manipulate anyone right. absolutely you're just making sure that hey the the points that i'm trying to get across are, are coming across and you know what whatever happens after that like that that's fine right? seen, if i get a cold if i've taken care of myself forever right. and then i get a cold well i got a cold right but it wasn't because i didn't I didn't try and take care of myself Not because I didn't have my vitamin C because I didn't run and drink enough water. Exactly. Right. I did all the things I was supposed to. Yeah. That's both really good, really good, super good points. So both of those things, what they're going to do is they're going to lead to a certain amount of confidence, yep. which is the other thing that's really has to be, uh, really has to be there whenever it comes to, to scripts and dialogues, you really yep. have to have confidence. Now, where does confidence come from? We say this all the time, or I feel like we say it all the time. It comes from competency. Your mom. Uh, oh, no, it didn't come from my mom. Okay. No, it doesn't come from your mom. From yeah. your mama. Yeah, I thought my mom was my source of my God. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. <laughs> you, you're so handsome, baby. Okay, thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so competency is yeah. where it comes from, right? How consistently can you do the right thing the right way? Yes. As soon as you feel like you're competent with something, you automatically feel competent or confident with something. Yeah. If you feel competent and do it the right way, you feel confident. I can say that one more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you are competent, you will feel confident. Yes. 
That's why you use scripts and dialogues. Yeah. Right. So if you know what you're going to say, you don't have to worry about when someone's talking, what to say next. Yeah. You know what you're going to say. You know the direction your interview is going to take. You know how to make transitions between this topic and that topic. You know how to have certain, uh, certain conversations so that people are comfortable, but yeah. it leads in automatically to the next question that, that you know they need answered for them, yep. right? So, so if, you're, if you're competent about what you do, because you're using scripts and because you're being intentional, you can't help but feel better, and then you can focus on what the person is saying not what you're going to say next. Yeah, two, two, two things on that. Once you are competent, you're, it's authentic. Right. So those people who say, oh, it's just not, I don't feel like it's authentic. Right. It only, feels, it only feels inauthentic because you don't own it. Right. Right. Once you own it, <clears throat> you're, you're, you're saying it. Your brain's not going to let you comfortably say things right. that you don't believe are true or, right. or are not real. Correct. Right. You can't, you can't, you can't trick your brain right. in, in those ways. Um, and secondly, if you're going through um, an, an interview, and 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 let's say that let's say that you're the agent, right? Let's put yourself in the agent's shoes, and then that broker is like hop, skipping, and jumping all over the place, talking about different things. It doesn't really seem like there's a rhyme and reason for any of this, and or they're just going through. Here's all the shit we offer. Yeah, exactly. Here's a laundry list. Here's you know here's a sheet of paper that has our tools. Here's a sheet of paper that has our compensation. Here's plan. our market share. Here's We're better other, than everybody else. Yeah, here's yeah. Here's here's the sheet of paper that has the line at the bottom. Here's the pen. Like if you don't mind signing down there, <laughs> uh, you know if 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 you're if you're that agent and you're seeing this happen, you know you're already thinking like I'm not so sure. I'm not getting a great feel out of this. Right. But if that person is 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 talking and you can tell there's just a natural flow, even if even if they could tell like that it's a script and and she said she he or she has said this a million times, yep. then then you're you're only telling that agent that you have a lot of interviews. Right. Right. You don't want to be this one like, sorry, I'm not too good at this. I don't have right. a lot of agents. I, I haven't done an interview in six years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Th these aren't Halloween decorations. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Those are normal cobwebs. <laughs> Those are the real thing. <laughs> uh, you know, a, a script and owning that and being able to, to guide the conversation and go is only going to impress Yep. The agent sitting there completely uh, right. more, more, more than, than what you would, you know, maybe trick yourself into thinking is, is otherwise. Absolutely. Yep. Couldn't, couldn't agree more. And so if you were, if, if you are, you know, focused on it, not being a trick, right. Uh, just acknowledge that you already do it. Yeah. Right. Yep. If you get, if you get used to it and it allows you to, to focus on what's actually uh, on what the person is talking about instead of what you're trying to say, that's going to build that competency you're going to, you're going to feel more confident. You're just going to have better appointments, period. Yep. And then you're going to be able to use that. And that's our, that brings us to our last point that you're actually going to be able to use that to clarify, um, you know, the engagement that you have yep. and the relationships that you're building. Absolutely. Yep. Because you're not worried about what you're going to say. Yep. yep. Only how it applies to the situation. Absolutely. Um, anything else, Matt, before I put a little, yeah, we could talk about this one a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, th this is, uh, so this is a, this is a big part from a coaching perspective. This is a big part of what we do. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. I mean, so there, we just want people to have very effective conversations and, and the only way that they can do that is by taking a real close look at where they are. Right. So, yeah. so when I ask people, you know, so explain your compensation plan to me mm -hmm. and they go directly into commission split. I, I can't tell you how much, how many, you know, you don't, you and I, I don't, I don't go back and look at what you do and you don't go back and listen to my coaching calls. Right. Right. And, and with that being the case, this happens a lot. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we talk mm. about it, but this happens a lot. I would say 90% of the time. Yeah. So tell me about your, tell me about your compensation plan as if I was an agent and you were, you were explaining it to me. I mean, within the first sentence, they yeah. start talking about commission splits. Yeah. Right? No, absolutely. I mean, that's their script. Yeah. Well, guys, um, Speaking, speaking of that, right? Like, you know, if you want to work on your scripts, work on your dialogues, those kind of things, you want to learn what to say, especially when it comes to things like commission splits and compensation plans, then two things. Number one, I'll put a link to our event that is coming up mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and we're talking all about that in the recruiting master series, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the, the very first one, it is December 1st. It is, it is virtual. Um, and click, click that link, sign up for it. Just make sure on the Dropbox that you select, um, that you are a brokerpreneur listener. 
right. and you will get to attend absolutely free. Um, if you're like, man, I'm going to take a look at that. I'm not so sure, you know, that December 1st is, is right for me. Uh, we'll have a replay in, and, and we'll send that out to everybody, everybody who is registered as well. Um, it'll be a limited time replay, but there will be a replay. And, and, you know, another way to get reminded about all these things is to sign up for our newsletter. But Matt, before we get to the action item, mm-hmm. let, 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 let me close this out just a little bit and uh, then we'll go from there. Guys, if you're listening to this on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Deezer, any of those platforms, make sure you hit that, that follow button. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that red subscribe button. Matt's reaching for the candy corn. Hit that red subscribe <laughs> button, that bell right beside it. You get notified every time we drop a new episode. Um, if you want to listen to all these and sign up for the newsletter, uh, go to brokerpreneurpodcast.com. If you are just old school and you're like, hey, I remember when I used to go to prospectboomerang.com, which you still can. And click on podcast at the top. It will direct you to that page as well if you've got that bookmarked or something. So, um, guys, let's 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 let Matt. You know, I'm letting him finish his candy corn, and then he's going to give us chilling. he's going to give us an action item here. So, uh, so this is a real simple one. It seems like everything we've said today is go to go to our site, but I'm going to add one more. Go to the site. <laughs> okay. Uh, just go to the site. Go to the contact us page. Mm-hmm. It'll send an email to uh, support. If you're interested in digging into this a little bit more and actually seeing some scripts and dialogues you can have, just go in there and, and say, hey, you know, heard about this on the podcast. Send me the scripts and dialogue playbook. Yep, and, and that's we'll prospectboomerang.com. Yeah, prospectboomerang.com. Go to contact us, and, yep. and it'll send a, send an email. Just put it in there, and uh, and we'll send you the, the scripts and, and dialogue playbook. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to do that. So is that the action item? That's the action item. I love it. Go that's, take that, action. Yeah, that's super easy, and, and there's, a, there's a ton of value in that. So uh, I'm happy that everybody gets it. Matt, we build those things. We eat candy corn like it's on the cob <laughs> <laughs> on the podcast. Um, and, 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 you know, we, 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 we try and help everybody, you know, uh, exceed in all of their, their recruiting endeavors, especially their interviews, uh, working on the things that they say to, to make sure that they get the result that they want at the end of the day. Right. And we do that for one reason and one reason alone. And tell them why that is. Because we just want to be part of their win. 